Honestly, I thought I was going crazy because you feel really stupid because, you know, you've been kind of teaching how to use the camera. If you happen to be either a tech, photography, or filmmaking YouTuber, it can sometimes be very painful to make stupid mistakes and overlook stuff. I just released a video all about the PASM dial, and I've been using the X-H2S camera non-stop, so I feel like I kind of have a handle on it. Well, today I made a real screw up, and I wanna teach you something real quick to save you the grief that I just went through because I feel really dumb. Check this out. So I'm trying to shoot unboxing and B-roll for this Weeble 3 gimbal. And I had shot most of the unboxing with the 16 to 55 millimeter lens on the X-H2S camera. So far, so good. Everything was working perfectly. I had this full-size HDMI right into the camera displaying on the monitor. I had beautiful unboxing footage. It looked great. However, I wanted to put a manual lens on the camera because I wanted to shoot some macro footage of the various controls on the gimbal, right? So I went to add this TD Artisan 40 millimeter macro lens. This is a great lens, great for getting macro shots. And I put it right on the X-H2S camera and I started to get my footage. I had the gimbal right here. I was coming in close. I was at 4K, 60 frames per second. I was gonna get that nice B-roll of it, except every time I pressed the shutter release button, nothing happened, no video. Nothing happened on the monitor. Nothing happened on the Atomos 5 Ninja, nothing. I couldn't see any footage. The camera just didn't respond. I went through everything. I went through all of the settings in the menu. I changed the battery. I did a reset on the camera. I couldn't figure it out. There were no error messages. There was no red flashy icon thing, nothing to tell me that there was a problem. But the shutter release button wasn't working for stills. And I might add, the little red movie button wasn't working either. Nothing was working. Even though I could access all of the menus and see everything, I tried changing SD cards, CF Express cards, you name it. I spent about 45 minutes, maybe an hour, trying to figure this out until I realized the following. If you go into your little wrench area under button dial setting and shoot without lens is set to off, you need to turn it to on because if you have a manual lens that has no electronics on it attached to the camera, the camera doesn't consider that to be a lens. It doesn't know that there's a lens attached. So shoot without lens off means that the camera won't shoot, except the camera doesn't show any error messages or anything else. It just doesn't work. And unless you know that that setting is there and know to turn that on, you'll think something's wrong. Fuji, I would strongly recommend making that particular setting on by default and not off if it's not already done so. It should never be by default off because I can see where someone would put a lens on here and think their camera's not working and not connect the fact that they're using a manual lens like I did. Anyway, problem solved. I wanted to make this video because I felt so foolish, but I thought, well, maybe I could at least save someone the grief, <laughs> okay? Anyhow, I'll see you in the next video very soon. Take care.